I do believe that the most complex problem uh, that is there in this world uh, is the one where, you know, statistics are, as it were, given an independent um, life, life independent, as it were, of poetry, you know? This is an absurd situation. It's just like proposing that the state is something which incorporates the nation, whereas actually the state, as he pointed out in so many different ways, is against the nation. You know, it is actually against the nation from, from the beginning. You know, the greatest state in the world today is undoubtedly the United States of America. And it has been created by the annihilation of the original nation of America. And everybody forgets that. So often I've been told that it is a nation state. But obviously it's not a nation state. How can there be such an idiotic thing like the nation state? The state is an organization of terror. And it has shown that very many times, you know. Now, while speaking about such confusions prevalent all over the place, even amongst intellectuals, etc., uh, the only way to get out of it is through poetry and similar disciplines. Uh, and this is not only a question of uh, the heart against the mind. You know, after all, like one of the greatest mathemat mathematicians and philosophers in human history was Pascal. And Pascal said, the heart has its own reason that reason does not know, you know. So it is more like the manas, you know, the, which is both heart and mind. And uh, I was so happy that right through all the conversations we have had, that there has been a stress on the convergence of many different specializations, many different whatever viewpoints on the world, you know. And I, I firmly believe that is the only way out. And it's, it's a very great and uphill and long-term task. Because I, whenever I have, uh, I have sometimes been um, attending conferences like this one, which are dominated by the by scientists and social scientists in this case, but sometimes even by physical scientists. And uh, I've had the opportunity to speak to uh, many uh, scientists of different disciplines, like physics, biology, et cetera, et cetera. For six months, I was even at the NCBS for a while. And you see, even between the scientific disciplines, there's hardly any idea of convergence. And that they are not able to do it is a, is a very, very great disaster for the existence of our arrogant species. Because that arrogance then speaks only in terms of, let us say, physics or uh, economics or whatever else, you know. And they refuse to understand one another. Moreover, there has been a great intervention now by technology in nuclearizing the individual and not letting that individual come together with other individuals to produce uh, you know, works of art or works of science. And we are particularly vulnerable to it because of the 
very twisted nature of our society at this moment, uh, which has misinterpreted the great traditions of individuation, which are there present in all the arts, especially the Buddhist arts, and uh, and and sort of adopted them to ideas of uh, private property. They are not, individuation does not mean owning a large amount of land and so on. Unfortunately, it is being interpreted that way now. You know, power, money, etc., makes an individual what in the, in the present system more important than his being. And the only way our beings as individuals can be restored is through building collectives of exchange. And I think it is poets like Sachidanan and artists uh, who can re-educate us into our own being. Thank you, Sachidanan, for all that you said.